Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to be continuing on from what we did in the last video. So what we did in the last video was find the yield section capacity, which was uh, found out to be 5,065 kilonewtons. So in this video we're going to continue on with the fracture section capacity. So we know what the fracture section capacity equation is, which is over here. So we start by solving for the first unknown variable, which is KT, our correction factor. Usually when we solve for correction factor, we refer back to the table 7.3.2. But as you'll see, uh, none of the configurations in the table represents an I being connected uh, in both its flanges. So what instead we refer to is our clause 7.3.2, which can be found here. In clause 7.3.2, there's a special section here for I beams connected by both flanges only. Uh, for this case, we can use KT equals to 0 0.85 as long as the length between the first and last rows of fasteners in the connection is not less than the depth of the member, okay? So, what we need to prove in order to use KT equals 0 0.85, firstly is that it's an I section connected by only its flanges, as it is here, so that's checked. But we also need to check that the distance between the first row and the last row of connections is greater than the depth of the the member itself, so our I-beam, okay? So the depth of our I-beam can be found here. So depth of section is 327. And the distance between... Our